Welcome back to the I'm Not Okay book review slash stories on the stairs slash whatever. We're going to go over two dates. The date is March 25th, 2020. Now, if you guys haven't been here or first time, thank you for coming out. Um, this is a journal that I wrote and published during the time of COVID and during the time that I had a lot of mental uh, breakdowns or a mental health breakdown. So, um, this emotion here is pretty simple, and I'm sure you guys can relate to it as much as, as I do, and it's guilt, right? Guilt is my weakness. I feel guilty for a lot of things I do or have done. My work is trying to let stuff go. So that's pretty much the little journal entry, and that's reminding myself that I have to let things go. I have to do my best to try to let things go, but I want to talk about that after this. I know I can do it, but it's just tough. Here's the thing, people. It is tough. Right. Letting go of something is just trying to forget about something that meant a lot to you. Right. And instead of saying let go and trying to erase this memory, right, this thing that's so important to you or just this, this traumatic thing that happened to you, the best thing that I've, I've done myself and still doing in working so with my therapist was accept it. So instead of like letting something go, you know, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. And this is the time I did it and ugh, I feel so bad. Oh, let me just forget about it. Let me just forget about it. Every time you say, let me just forget about it, it sticks more into your brain. And I've learned that, that it's very true. The only way that I've learned to help accept these things is by accepting them. So for me to actually let things go, I have to be like, I fucking did that, and that's okay. I, I did it. What are, you, what are you gonna do about it? You know that was then, and this is now. I'm not that person, and I just have to move on with what it is. I'm sure you're going to think about it every now and then, but it's not gonna tie you down anymore, right? And that's what we're trying to do with those guilty um, occurrences or guilty experiences that you might have done. You're trying to let go of shit, but you just can't forget. You know, you just can't be like, all right, forget about it. I, I'm gonna let it go. No, because it you hold it. And then you hold it more and you hold it more versus just accepting it. It's like, oh, that person fucking, that person screwed me for $3,000. You know what? I hope they're, I hope they're good. I hope they're doing fine. You know, it's a lot easier on you to try to deal with that emotion of guilt. Because guilt's tough, man. Guilt does a lot of crazy things. You know, it's one emotion that's very powerful. And it can lead to probably our most powerful um, emotion, which is anger, right? That's for me, for sure, you know, sadness and anger. So don't try to let things go. Just accept and then move forward. And then it's going to come back again. And just when you get there, don't try to like force it out of your head. Just accept it. That was part of your life. And it's done, you know, more easier said than done, correct? That's why it's called work. March 26th. Man, this is going to be long. I don't even know I'm going to make it through this one. If I don't make it through this one, I will do it in another video. March 26, 2020. I sit here and I cry, and I always feel like I'm wrong. My cries always make me feel like I'm not good enough, and so I sit around and cry because I can't take it anymore. Am I not good enough? Will I ever be good enough? Is the person that needs someone to fall back onto and hold on to good enough? Am I free? I love you, and I know you want what's right for me. It kills me to yell. It kills me to be angry. It kills me to react. That's my automatic reaction, and I wish it wasn't. But it is. I miss you, and I cry because I love you, because I respect you, because I'm grateful that I have parents that care. It's clear. Love, the strong love, is caring love. It's tears. Love is anger. While well, I only want what's best for you, sometimes we need to let people know and learn what's best for them through heartache, through pain, through tears. But that's their life to learn, and that's their journey to follow. For the first time ever, I didn't react with hurting myself. For the first time ever, I didn't react with causing pain. For the first time ever, I didn't react by causing harm to myself. For the first time ever, I felt clear without resorting to cutting myself or punching myself or beating myself or beating something. 
Instead, I dance, and I dance with the devil. I dance with the angels. I dance with my soul. My soul knows what's best, for my soul allows me to know my decisions. I just took a breath, and that makes me alive. Until I cry again. <sighs> Super heavy. Obviously, I was crying because I. this was where I really want to do a lot of malicious things to my body. Very bad. Whether it's going to be overfeeding it, slicing it, punching it, beating it into the wall, or trying to take it out on, on something, right? Usually, or lift weights, but that was just too hard at that time. But for the first time, I just ended up breathing and journaling. Right, and that's why I wrote into this. That's why obviously it's a little bit longer and maybe a little bit more uh, flustered. Right, The words didn't make sense. I was just <clears throat> writing through it as much as I can. But it was a, a fight with my parents, a fight with my wife. I feel like I was fighting everyone. And I felt like I was just losing. And I felt like I was fighting every single person that I know, their comments or the things that they want to do or want me to do and what am I going to do? Like, you know, what's the hardest part about that is when people are asking you, when people are asking you, what are we going to do? Or what am I going to do when you have no idea what you're going to do? That's a lot of pressure. That was a lot of, I don't, I don't, I, have, I don't have an answer for anyone and I have to figure this out myself, right? Because God forbid I ask for help. God forbid. But the thing is, no one can help me because I can't even help myself. It's like, how can someone help me when I was unable to even help myself at that situation? I hope that makes sense, you know. And I'm sure there's a people out there that are listening that have asked, asked to help me. But I'm not going to get ask for your help because I just was lost. And I didn't want to lose. But I was losing every day. Every single day. And I cried a lot. And this journal entry was me crying based off, you know, opinions of my parents and suggestions from my wife and questions from the cranksters. This is where, like, a knife would have helped a lot. But it didn't do it. Instead, I sat down, took some breaths, journaled out what it is, you know, I was thinking about and going through my head and then I moved on from that so those two entries kind of aligned itself right to where I could easily feel guilty about everything that has happened that was happening getting to an argument getting to a fight but instead I just took a breath and said I don't know this is this is it like this is what's happening and um, you know as the, the the journal entries come along I could have done that a lot more, you know, but only one person with this mental fortitude can probably take so much. So I guess in the closing here, for those of you guys that are feeling intense emotion, right, super intense emotion, get outside, go for a walk, take a breath, as hard as that is. I trust me, there's still moments here where I, my wife has to tell me to go out, get out and put some ice on my head or go because I sit there and I just sit with that pain. Like I sit with it. I sit with whatever anger I have and I don't want to move. Like I'll sit on the couch and just feel like I'm uh, like paralyzed almost. Right? And you're paralyzed and you're sitting there and just thinking over and over and over about whatever the situation is or whatever emotion you're feeling. And you don't want to change it. You don't. You're too lazy to, right? I'm too lazy to get up right now. I don't want to do anything. No, you just you just willful. You don't want to do it. Your body wants to stay there because it's very hard to do what's, I don't want to say right, to do what you need to to feel better. So trying to find your methods of coping, right? What's your coping mechanisms? What's your distress mechanisms? Does that make sense? Distress mechanisms, I don't, know. I don't know if that works. Try to figure those out and, and practice them and use them as much as possible. 80% of the time. You know, let's be real. All right, I'll see you guys later. Moving on to chapter two.
which means we're going into April 2020. Oh, fuck. Jesus. I don't want to do this one. I don't want to do this one. I'll see you next time. Shit. <sighs> Should I walk upstairs, downstairs? Nah, I gotta go pick up the kids. Well, oh wait, before I leave, uh, do me a favor and like watch more videos because I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube and this is real, right? I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube so I can fucking make some money doing the things that I do and then things that I do love. Right, so with your help, by just leaving the video on and sharing this and making people watch it, I need to get 4,000 hours of watch time. I only have 300 right now for this year. So I'm trying to expand that as much as I can. I have every other mark. I just need that one to make it happen. And then hopefully it does happen. So with your help, if you can, share this video. Watch whatever it is. If you're you know, painting the house press play and just leave it and then let it run into the next one and find another video of mine and press play. Even if it's from 2008. I think I started making videos in like 2006. I forget. So I'll see you guys later. On that note, have a great weekend. Until next time, people. Should I do like an exit? Like a walkout exit? Wait. It'll be walking up, actually. Not walking out. Okay. And then I'll walk down. Here's the intro. Ugh. Ugh. What's going on, everybody? Is that a good intro? Right, cool. Welcome to P.E. Zips channel. Support by tapping that like button.